I had to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumping music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight. be a real pleasure robbing this nightclub. I share in your enthusiasm, but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job, hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your binocucum. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. Slide. If you click the L3 button, you know, press the left analog stick. Slide. I need you to hack into Dimitri's communication array so that we'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? You'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. to locate your next objective. Nice work, Sly. 
I'm downloading from Dimitri's mainframe as we speak. On a night's work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. To get inside, you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head out for the cellar. <laughs> little buddy. I guess the way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back? Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. Hear the Murray! Sly, let me lower those bars for you. There you go. To get over this thing, you'll have to double jump. Hit the X button to jump. Then, while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. Looks like you're on your own from here. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. In order to get past these lasers, you need to crawl under that table. To do that, get near the table and press the circle button. These flashlight guards are too tough to fight head on. Crawl under the tables to sneak around him. Genius! The 
Demetrius using the clockwork tail feathers as printing plates. Given their rare alloy, they'll never wear out. Unlimited forged money. That should do it, Sly. Head back to the safe house and we'll cook up a plan of attack. <laughs> The recon photos are a grim reminder of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped up patrols, the sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communications. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. Baby, walk tall, stand tall, feel funky. Juice, who's got the juice? Mm. 
Listen in on his conversations. Yes, I thought things might go more smoothly with an ear on the inside. Just be careful with the fine art. Take any damage and the painting's ruined. all right. I never was one for the direct approach. Well, because the indirect approach is way up there through that air vent.
if you get caught, you can run away by holding down the R1 button. supposed to get past these lasers. You should be able to break that power box by throwing something at it. Press the circle button to use your stomp move near the ice machine to pick up a block of ice. Then press the square button to throw the block at the power box. Hit the circle button to pick stuff up and the square button to throw. Got it. <laughs> other stuff in the room. <clears throat> Okay, fellas, I've constructed a plan to get at the clockwork tail feathers, but we'll need to pull off a few more jobs to set things up for the heist. First, Sly will have to pick a few pockets in the theater so that we'll have access to the Spotlight Control Center. Once that's accomplished, we'll be able to turn off all the security around the printing press. We'll need your muscle, Murray, to take out all the exterior alarm horns. We don't want anything to alert the guards while we pull off the big job. And finally, we'll need to get into the discotheque to drop this mirror ball. Trust me, it's all part of the plan. Constable Mila. Another policewoman hot on my tail. Please, I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the claw gang putting them to use. So what? It takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that you can keep up. Literally. Literally? Don't fall behind. Why? Hold down the R1 button to run. You'll need it to keep up with Constable Leela. 
Sly, we should work well together. Glad you approve. Now, legally, I can't enter Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant. But I happen to have obtained a key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use however he pleases. Oh, we are absolutely going to work well together. That job inside the disco will require my demolition. You can get this piece of fine art back to the safe house in one piece. We can sell it on ThiefNet for a ton of coins. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel, but you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. The guards are carrying special fragile keys that will be destroyed if you attack. Make sure you pickpocket their keys before you take those thugs out. As the pickpocket guards sneak up behind them and press the circle button. Sometimes you have to dig a little.
Check one, check two. Sorry. Dimitri on the mic with a shout out to all my nightclub samurai. Stand tall and feel beautiful. I get us some raccoon dude giving us static. If you all spot this cracker box, bam! Make him unhappy. Take no prisoners. Go hardcore. Extreme all over his face. Okay, Lisa. <laughs>
laser fence, you'll need to blow it up. Press the triangle button to drop a bomb, and then get out of the way before it explodes. How you holding up out there in the field? Fine. Fine, I'm just fine. I just need to bomb all the pillars supporting that disco ball and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock sign loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk now. I've got to keep moving. Keep safe. Okay, fellas, the dominoes are all in place. Time to pull off the big heist. First, Murray will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Sly, you'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up. Then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock sign. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the sign. If my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, Sly, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here. Let's get to that water tower! Jump into my arms! I'll 
I'll toss you up there. to focus. Which valves do I turn to divert water pressure from the plaza? To change the flow of water through a valve, I should press the circle button. Success! Why? The water pressure to the fountain should be disabled. It's off all right. They're already sending out the repair guy to fix it up. They can pocket the keys to his repair truck without being seen. how to drive a stick shift. I need to get in position on top of the nightclub's peacock sign for phase three. Majesty of gravity and inertia. That was real subtle, Bentley. Okay, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here. Yeah. 
Kunas do this? You're right totally bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen, Dimitri. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, bro. I see you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure that two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Yeah? We smooth. Yeah. Look, see the money. You like the money. You can take all you want. I can. No deal. You and the rest of the claw gang have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can... What is this with clocks, bro? You know vision. Are you hearing what I beam to you? You think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. I have no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. Oh, let's dance! <laughs> and my counterfeit in operation. It's past tense. Doing you a favor? What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. You... <laughs> cracker box! <laughs> my gang and I had done it. The clockwork tail feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape got a little tricky. Angry at having just missed me, she took it out on Dimitri, shutting down the nightclub and throwing the frustrated forger behind bars. The gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. I figured the team had earned themselves a well-deserved break.